Howdy folks, this is Butch at Sand Hollow Homestead and I thought that I'd just take you along uh, so this morning I want to do some spraying if I can or get that sprayer going and it is a little breezy out here so I have to be real particular of where I'm going to be spraying this morning but out along the edges of my property away from my garden and away from my trees I can probably do some spraying out there not that I really want to do spraying, but I want to show you what the weeds look like, give you an idea. Those little burrs, like sand burrs, and uh, I know that there's mallow coming up in there, but uh, those burrs are really bad stuff. And they just seem to spread if I let them get their blo uh, blossom on. Once they get their blossom on, they make the flowers. You see, they make seed. I don't know if they spread by seed or roots, but I know one thing. I've got to got to try to knock it. They're coming up everywhere. They spread horribly. So, what I'm going to do is go inside my tent and get some of my spray as you can see uh, I've gotten quite a bit of the um, equipment out of here moved it outside already and even got some hoses garden hoses out because I'll be watering the lawn and the garden trees I should say because I won't have much of a garden, but I will have some garden. And so I got a lot to go yet. On a day like today where it's really windy, it's supposed to get up to, I don't know, 18, 20 mile per hour winds. And uh, inside this tent, it does stay pretty good. Now the other day, I did buy some uh, planting soil and uh, I've got a bag of uh, potting soil and I also have uh, a bag of uh, turf builder now this is weed and feed and I'm going to use that in some of the areas in my lawn and uh, you know to try to kill some of the uh, morning glory that's been attacking my lawn so it's hard to say whether I can uh, get it killed off or not. But we've got some nasty things on this property. And uh, it, it's the kind of stuff that uh, really spreads bad. I put these pallets down. And uh, I put the plywood on top so you can see. That, so I, I didn't have to worry about ripping up my bags. Then I've got some more pallets here set up so that I can pile some more stuff out of my shop. When I move out the tires and the cement and so forth that I have stored inside my shop, that's going to give me that much more room in my shop so I can get get to working on some vehicles, and that's what the shop should be used for. So I'm going to head back to um, the sprayer, and that would be on the west side of the property. It is a clear day today. Sky is clear. It's supposed to get up to 60, but there's just there's just no way that it's going to get up to 60 if we have got 18 mile an hour wind. And if it was a warm wind, it might be a little different. But it's pretty windy. You can see the chickens? They don't have a lot of cover, but they can get up inside that that hutch, that that box there, and uh, they can get out of the the bad weather. That's what they do at nighttime. So I better take care of their water real quick. Okay, back at it. I sure like to work in the garden. That wind's picking up a lot more than it. My cell phone reported that it won't 
rise up until about noon or later. But I'm thinking that they didn't count on the wind doing what it wanted to. So, I may not get the spraying done today. That's a bummer. But, the weather will straighten up. John Deere's all ready for the garden if I can get into it and get it, get the weeds cleaned up. That wind, I can take a lot. I can take a lot of heat and I can take a lot of cold. One thing I don't do so good of is taking that wind. So, my best laid plans for today, well, it ain't gonna work out that good. Not with this wind. This is the slow wind. And, uh, it's my understanding that today it'll be up to 20 mile an hour. Now, if they say 20, <laughs> makes you wonder just how windy it's going to get. This is the sprayer that I use when I'm spraying and killing weeds. This is the weed killer. That other one mainly is used for the trees, fruit trees, and uh, try to help the fruit trees so I can get some fruit. So anyhow, I'm going to put this So that's all ready to go. Only thing I'll have to do is uh, go down and pick up my battery. And uh, I still haven't found the, the piece for my panel. I haven't found my roof panel for my greenhouse yet. Don't know if I will find it. I think I'm going back inside. This is just ridiculous. I might. It would be nice if it got better, but I don't think it will. Living on the hillside, you take what you get.